This is hydrogen tap. Making a few changes in the focus Q and uh, I'm getting ready to take it apart to let you see what's inside it. What you're looking at here is a change I made. This is the water in port. As you can see I doubled up on it. Hopefully that's going to all come up to one tube. So these two are both water in ports. What you're looking at now is the hydrogen outside, the reverse side, and you can see that I've doubled up on that port also. So what I'm doing now is making a modification to the cell. Each one of the plates, I'm going to be modifying the plates on the inside. To hopefully resolve the problem of the water pressure that I had before. What I'm doing here is taking the unit apart. You can see the bolts that go through here. And I'll show you a better look of the inside here. Well, as you can see, we're slowly getting this thing apart here. And you can start to see the uh, way it's separated. These are all the O-rings. Okay, and, uh, you and I both examine these plates together. You can see I spot glue on the outside the O-rings and I uh, just took them out to check and see for any discoloration. Amazingly clean. Amazing. I don't know whether you want to call that something, but that's it. Pretty clean, considering. And uh, and you can see how that looks. This is the new setup for the This is the uh, downflow tubes on this side and the upflow on this side. See the lexon. So what I'm going to be doing is modifying these plates once more. The way it goes together, they're offset. So one's for one, the bottom half of the cell, and the other's going to the top. So when you have the O-rings in place there, let's see if we get one here for you. You can see that as this sets on the top side, the other sets on the bottom. So one's pulling the water from the top, one's putting the hydrogen in the bottom. Or you understand what I'm talking about, right? Well, a little bit while later, here we've got it back together again. And uh, 
looking pretty good. If you're wondering what I added, there was two holes here in the plates, top and bottom. What I added was three more holes on the bottom side. Hopefully that will relieve the pressure and allow the water to go back up. So we'll see what happens.